In today's video, I'll show you how to convert a standard Nikon lens into a telescope. Now, why would you want to do this? As you know, uh, if you have a Canon, you can put narrowband filters or other filters using a filter clip. But if you have a Nikon lens, well then that is going to be a lot more difficult because they don't have filter clips readily available for a, an F-mount lens like this one. Now with this particular setup, I can do narrowband imaging or LRGB imaging or any other thing I want with my Nikon lens. And that is a huge advantage if you're just starting out. The heart of this is the adapter. All right. So here is the adapter that uh, goes on to the uh, F mount of the Nikon and at the other end allows you to connect an astrophotography camera like this one. Now in order to do your filters, you can see I've got the filter in there. Then this adapter unscrews right here. And now you can do either a two inch filter or a one and a quarter inch filter. Now the adapter comes ready to go for two inch. So, so in order to get a one and a quarter inch filter in here, let's take that out. then you need to buy this particular adapter. And this is really inexpensive. This adapter here is a two inch to one and a quarter inch adapter. And these threads go right in here in the place of the two inch. And the, I found it easier to install this first because I don't want to get uh, prints on the, the uh, filter itself and then just leave it in. Okay, so once that's installed, just, just leave it. And now you have access right here to put any filter you would like. And this is, I was so excited when I got this. Last night I went out and I got my very first hydrogen alpha narrowband image with this uh, camera right here and my Nikon lens. Uh, it turned out fairly well. I, uh, there was a lot of debugging that I had to do and but I'll show you here the the results that I got. So this is just a test exposure. This is 60 seconds uh, using bin 4 uh, because I was trying to debug this and whatnot and when I went back and tried to do it with bin 1 I it was too late and the house was blocking but anyway this is Orion and it's the very first image that I've done in narrowband and as far as the first image go I'm pleased I know it's not an award-winning photograph but I sure was uh, very happy to get it. So I'm going to share with you a workflow to help you get started how you might do this. To get started, what I would do is I would take the filter out, put this together, and then mount it to the camera. Now mounting the camera is fairly straightforward. You've got a release clip here. All right, so you need to find the correct location on your Nikon, and then Turn it like that until it clicks. All right, so that will be securely mounted. In this position, it's not going to fall off. Now, on my particular lens right here, this is where I'm going to set my aperture. And uh, I'm, this is about an f5, something 4.5 to 5, something like that. I don't have my glasses on. And so I would leave that wide open uh, to obtain your image and to focus. So. I would do that first so it has the brightest possible image and it's easier to compose and focus and get everything worked out. Now after you've got all, everything set up, your polar line, everything's good to go, then I would just very carefully take this off, unscrew the top one, and you can set it down here on this tray. And then do your first filter whatever that's going to be. The first one that I did was Hydrogen Alpha because I love the red. And then screw this back in. Okay, 
and then very carefully put it back on and try not to adjust where you are and whatnot. Now the focus will change. So you go back in and redo the focus and then you can start your narrowband imaging or whatever imaging that you're doing for the night. Now in order to make this work with a Nikon lens and an astrophotography camera like the ZWO, you have to be very careful in that you get the correct adapter and then you have it configured correctly. So in this particular configuration right here, this camera has a 12.5 millimeter back focal length. Okay, so in this configuration, I have a total of 39 millimeters here. This is a five millimeter adapter. And so you need this adapter with a 12.5 millimeter back focus camera. So if you have a camera that has a 17.5 millimeter back focus, then what you would do is you would remove that and that would make this 29 millimeters. So 29 millimeters plus 17.5 is again 46.5, so that would give you the correct back focus. Now if you want to use a filter wheel, they only make it for the two inch filter wheel. And so that is why I'm putting my filters in manually because I have a one and a quarter inch filter wheel. That's unfortunate, but the added expense for the two inch, I just didn't want to go with two inch. And so that is a compromise that I chose to do. And if you don't want to do that and you don't want to put them in manually, then you might want to start with two inch filter wheels right from the get go. So here's what the adapter looks like for the filter wheel and I will put a link down in the description below for this specific product. So here's the version I bought and here are the two configuration. This here is for the 12.5 millimeter back focal length and this configuration like you would see in a pro cool camera has a 17.5 millimeter back focal length. And so again I will put this link in the description below. So I hope you found that helpful and stay tuned for updates as I get this narrowband imaging down and get some better images.